Today I'm going to be reviewing a beer. This is a little pricey one here. This was, uh, I believe it was $14 or $15 for a four pack. It's just called Homestyle by Bearded Iris Brewing. It's 6% alcohol, 16 fluid ounces or one pint. And it says here, Cultivate Variety, Homestyle IPA, Soft Juicy Mosaic. So I'm guessing this has mosaic hops in it. So let's get into the glass and see what it looks like. This is a, it's a nice big beer, so I'm going to use my Hooters Silver Anniversary glass for this one. It's got a nice gold top with a black tab. Looks like my guest reviewer is about to show up. Being late, making an entrance. What do you think about that? He's getting a good whiff of it. It's purring, so he must like it. It's a nice little cloudy it says ale on the can it's an IPA it's um I don't know what this symbol is here it kind of looks like uh, I don't I don't even know what it looks like but it's a, okay buddy you cramping my style mm, this has a very nice aroma be something in the head there. Doesn't look like it's a unfiltered beer. I mean, there's no chunks in it. It's just it's cloudy, it's a hazy beer. Oh, it's got a wonderful aroma. Kind of peaches. Yeah, pineapple and peaches. Mm, it smells delicious. It's got a nice snow white head. Pretty big bubbles in it. Let's give it a sip. I definitely get a pineapple-y flavor in my mouth. Um, maybe not a sweet orange. It's more of a, not really a bitter orange, but just a non-sweet orange. But it's got a good flavor. Like I say, up until I started reviewing this channel, I wasn't really an IPA guy. I did not like that hops flavor. However, since doing this and I had to review some IPAs, that taste has really grown on me. So I can remember back, because it wasn't that long ago, that I would not have liked this. However, now I really do like this flavor. And this is great. And like I say, this is not a beer I normally would have bought, simply for the fact that it was 14 or $15 for a four pack. Now granted, they are 16 ounces, but to me that was, that was a lot of money to spend on four beers. However, if you look at the reality of it, Come on, Tiger. If you look at the reality of it, at $14 for four, that's $7 for two, or basically $3.50 a can. So if you go to any bar or any restaurant and order a 12 ounce beer, you're not gonna get it for $3.50. So in reality, that is a very good price for it. Um, See, my, my mind is still stuck in the pre-snob days where I just, you know, if it was too expensive, then that just meant I wasn't even going to try it because why would I spend, you know, $20 on a six-pack when I could spend $20 and get a 30-pack, you know? But I say, I'm evolving. My tastes have evolved. 
I'm glad when I went in and I talked to the to the owner of the liquor store that I bought this at, you know, and I asked him what he had was new, and he said, well, I got, you know, he said he had this, and it was pricey, but it was worth it, and I, I have to agree. It's it's nice. It's got a great flavor, great aroma, just looks great in the glass. I say this this can is is so intriguing because. I mean, it's a, it's a solid black can, and the writing is in gold. All of the writing is in gold. So it just kind of has a, I don't know, it's a ritzy, upscale-looking can. So you can't have a ritzy, upscale beer in a plain old can. you got to put it in a ritzy can, and that's exactly what they did. Bearded Iris Brewing. Where are these guys out of? Nashville, Tennessee. Now, some of the IPAs can be bitter. This one, you know, on the IBU scale, this doesn't have, this does not list what the IBUs are on it. But the higher the number on the IBU scale, of course, the more bitter the beer is going to be. This beer, to me, is only slightly bitter. It's, it's not, it's not bad. It's, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say it's around the 4 four to five range as far as bitterness. So it's it's not overwhelmingly bitter. It's a great tasting I say the flavor I'm getting. Kind of like a little peachy, a little pineapple-y with beer flavor mixed in. So it's nice. Home style, they're calling it. Tiger's trying to tear up my place. Um, yeah, this is a thumbs up for me. I'm glad that I got the four pack of it. So, first time tasting it was today. Now I know what it tastes like. I've got three others that I can enjoy. So, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. It's, it's nice. I wish it was a little bit more carbonated. Um, that's the only, it's the only downside to this beer. I say it's got a great aroma. It's got a great flavor. It's just a little light on the carbonation. But it's still a fantastic beer. So, 8 out of 10. Bearded Iris from... Nashville, Tennessee, 6% alcohol by volume. Comes in a 16 fluid ounce can. That's one pint. Like I say, here in the Atlanta, Georgia area, I paid $14 or $15 for the four pack. So it's $3.50 a can. Definitely a decent price for what you're getting. So thanks for joining me today. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I see I got a bunch of new subscribers this week. I do appreciate it. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and, and ring that bell so you can get notified when I'm uploading. I am uploading three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So now that I'm going to be on the craft beer kick, I'm going to be reviewing a bunch of different craft beers. And I know there's just so many in the store nowadays, it's kind of overwhelming. So I'm going to whittle my way through them and let you guys know what I think of them. So that way you're not just going and spending money on something that you don't like. You know, use me. It's what I'm here for. So, thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then.